Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you need to find where the TPMS light fuses are located, realize as well where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience please make sure you stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here in the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them guys completely apart we show you how to fix engines transmissions bodywork guys engine codes transmission codes fuses relays uh, as well guys why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos guys we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out so guys the TPMS light fuses and relays where you can expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Tahoe and Chevy Suburban right here both of these models are built on the same platform so we should apply to both guys the main difference practically is that Tahoe is a little bit shorter than the Suburban now what do we guys need to do first we need to go ahead okay uh, and mention that there is up to five different fuse boxes that most owners do not know they exist but that's okay that's why we made a special video to help you out it's on our YouTube channel it's called Chevy Tahoe Chevy Suburban fuse box location and diagram what you guys need to do now we need to open the driver door and when you do that you need to guys okay come to the side you see right here pry that cover open and you'll find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so here guys for the TPMS system there is very limited information about the TPMS fuses usually those are not separate fuses to where you can just go ahead and pull them why because it's a safety feature just kind of like airbags so you must have those and they made it to where a few different systems will work together okay and there will be a few different fuses there is very limited information but some of the fuses that we'll recommend to check is the BCM fuses uh, where they are located first okay we're going to zoom in here and you will need to check fuse number 10 fuse number 11 these two fuses here then you need to check fuse number 19 after that you need to come to the passenger side and you need to do the same thing pry that cover open there is another fuse box there that's almost identical let's zoom in a little bit and here guys okay we will need to check specifically fuse number 13 again fuse number 19 right here fuse number 38 fuse number 46 and 47 will need to be checked as well now other fuses that you may need to check guys are for the abs and traction control module abs module or traction control module check these fuses because sometimes it could be part of that as well it's really complicated but uh, usually if you have problems with a fuse related to the TPMS module it means that something else will not work because the fuse is for something else as well hopefully the video will be helpful guys so guys I want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses 
fuses, relays, circuit breakers, something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a replacement one, you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced. So what we do, we usually buy some spare ones, we put in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.